Globalized development is not suitable model for development for India. Surely not, because trickling down doesn't work. Bioregionalism is a movement uh, who is mainly born uh, from Italy and Italy has a very respectful point of interest through his ecological, social, artistic patrimony. Bioregional process is uh, a completely regener regenerated uh, way to think about our territories. I mean that the question is now, you know, environment and social problems are very deep and increasing problem in India. So we do have to have new approaches to think our, about our regional planning. Regional planning is a good scale to connect with people with their territories, their nature, uh, their institutions, and to build a new model of development. So, to build a bioregion, you have to think about new borders. I mean, administrative borders are not maybe the right borders. You have to think about new ecological borders or maybe cultural borders, identity and so on, to find which is the good identity and the good scale and the good territories you have to think about. And when you look at these territories, you have to build what we do call a consciousness of the place. You have to build that with a participation of all the people, academics, politicians, people on the ground, NGO, workers, everybody. You have to emerge this process of consciousness of the place through the global archaeology of the place. And with that, you build a local project. You build a project of territory which is different for, from an economic development process. Bioregional is a new paradigm to think about territories because territories is like a microcosm of the earth, you know, that we are connected with. It is our area where we are working. Globalization is reality. Globalization is global capitalism of, as I called you just a few minutes before, the added chain of values, which means that a product, what we call a, a product, which means your iPhone or something else, is sometimes built some in Taiwan, in India, and just pieces are put together maybe in Germany and they sell in the uh, US or in UK or in France. You cannot, you cannot do without that. But what you can do is your mate is to build an equilibrium between local and global. And if you imagine a planning that takes in consideration what we are calling also negative externalities, meaning that when you have a product which is a product with pieces coming from India, from India, you always have negative externality. Most of them are social and environmental. So you do have to build a new econometry to internalize, to internalize into 
the price, the negative externality, because this economic or globalized economy is not correct. The price is not correct because always they minimize the destruction of nature, always minimize the people, for example, the tribal, who are pushed away from their uh, region for mining, you know, something. So, everywhere, economical price are, are not correct. But what I mean is that you, find, you have to find in uh, bioregional process the good connection, the good equilibrium between globalization, which is a reality, and local project, which is the other face of the piece, you know, of the coin of globalization. You have to build what we call a globalization from the bottom. A globalization from the bottom is with people, with local people, who do not have to suffer of the globalization and of the nature who do not have to suffer of globalization. When I, I go on trip in India, I'm very afraid about climate change. I think it's becoming reality. Now, because a lot of pro growth problem, water problem, and I think that the actual government and then before is completely disconnected of reality. So, I think that we have to work about new areas and we have to do strong regeneration, how do you call that, process of ecology. I think this is first. I think that it's very important to have a, a national reforestation program because I think that uh, climate change will be very difficult, very dangerous for India in the name 10 or 20 years. We cannot imagine but I see real a big catastrophe for India and India has, doesn't see that and I think that we will have two India, one for the middle class which are not responsible of anything they only believe in the Western model, consuming. They are not responsible of uh, what is happening in India with the poor. They don't, they don't realize that. What I mean is, to answering your question, is that we do have to build a strong social science working about territories all over India. Social science means people working on the ground about what is happening uh, considering climate change, ecological and socially, ecologically and socially. And because when you have strong social science, you are really able to analyze the reality. You were talking about the left party and so on, the socialism and what we could call eco-socialism. Why we do have strong states and redistribution states in Western countries? It is because we do have strong social science, strong universities and strong intellectual life. So in India, you do have to build a critical thinking, which is very important, you do have to build a real nation, a real society. I mean that India is maybe mostly a culture more than a society. India has to build an ecological republic, I mean ecological social republic, and everybody has to work about this. You do make a separation between, you do, I mean, in the peop, people mind, I mean, you know. You do make the separation between poverty and environment, which is really a big mistake. Yes. Because poverty and environment are always working together. 
So, to have a real green party, and uh, what I should say, uh, ec ecological, ecolo political, ecological green party, you do have to connect every time poverty and environment. Not only because the poor suffer the more, but it's like this all over the world, you know. And because since independence, we are talking about this new mythology of development through Western values, you know, which is materialist, which is not bad, but which is not sufficient, you know. Even in Western country, materialism now, we know that it is not enough for us, you know, we have we have problem with that. We don't know what to do with that after that, you know. This is not an Indian way of thinking development. I think that uh, smart cities, we are always, everywhere we are speaking about smart cities, but smart cities is mostly of the type technocratic process, meaning techniques will give us all the answers about our cities. This is not possible. This is not enough. You do have to consider again relation between cities and countries and so on and to work on the regional process, as we say. And you know, uh, smart cities are quite a political gadget. And about this linkage of... Uh, I think this is really... How can you imagine this? This is incredible, you know? You cannot go against nature like that. It's impossible. You will destroy all of... all the life. I am talking in my paper about Democracy of, uh, how, how do I call that? Vivant means livelihood. Democracy of livelihood. We have to think about now all what is alive. And we do have to take care of all what is alive. Meaning, starting from animals to humans to trees. This can be also Indian process, you know, in nature. And we do have to regenerate, to rejuvenate what is a life is a part of our development. We are not disconnected of that. If you make big dams, if you connected big dams and big river, it is not a life process. You you're dying everything, you know. In the future we do have more and more problems with a globalized system. Anyway, in five, five years, ten years, so everybody will be more consciousness of what is happening and we look forward alternatives. This is sure. So, you know, bioregionalism is a new process of thinking. We have to work about this concept of consciousness of place, of uh, global archaeology, and, and make new proposal and to test them on the ground through case studies. It's not left and the ecological party, I should say, it's a movement. It could become a global movement with the civil society, with everyone, uh, building some new, what we call, uh, new institutions, new municipalities, uh, working together to, to find a new way to, to live with our territories. <laughs>